spring has arrived, winter is gone. Thank goodness for that. I'm not a winter person at all. This week, we're just gonna tidy up the front yard here. It got out of control as well, like the green, the surrounded. Uh, we're only several weeks away now from my springtime renovations. So even though I'm about to shave that down and do all those sorts of things to it, do the full renovation with you guys, I still wanna just get things neat and tidy before we start. So today, just follow me around. We're just gonna spend the day cleaning up in the yard, um, getting the front yard sorted, getting it ready for renovations, if you will. Um, and yeah, I'll take you along the journey and show you what's been happening. For those of you who've been wondering what I've been up to in the off season, I st although I haven't been doing anything turf related and I haven't been 100%, I still have done some things. So one of the big things that I've done here now is I've actually finally finished uh, all, all of the garden. So you saw in previous videos that I did have the plants planted. I've now managed to completely mulch all this here. So that's all done. Uh, and this one here that you guys wouldn't have seen yet is the last of the garden that has been now completed. I've just got to probably shape the hedge up a little bit better, but turn this into a big mass planting of cycads. There is some ground covers there that'll poke up through as well. Um, so I decided to go with the cycads. They're quite effective. I like the look of them, low maintenance, uh, and they just look good when they're really grouped up and planted together like that. I just like the look. Last little job here, I've got to work out, I'm either going to use some sort of river rocks, some river pebbles, or a decomposed granite, a more firmer, firmer sort of design, just to give us access to the garden tap, but I haven't fully, fully made my mind up. Um, someone asked me in the comment section the other day, and I'm not exactly sure, you know, the tone behind it, um, asking me how my gravel driveway is looking these days. There were some comments that I didn't do some certain procedures to it, and he wanted photos. So, yeah, mate, if you're watching, it's looking fine. I'm happy with it. Going forward, it's probably gonna be swapped out to concrete down the track, but for now, it's doing the trick. Um, right, eh, well, let's just crack on. Let's just start doing some stuff and uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. I've tried a lot of different edges in my time and I'm pretty good with a string trimmer as an edger, but with the amount of edging I've got here, I needed something a bit quicker and easy on the back. So Adam Edger, mate, I really enjoy using that. Um, does a nice, clean, clean job. Nice straight results every time. Now, one thing I noticed when I was doing this, um, apart from all the bark around the edges from the roos and so forth, um, there's a few rocks and stuff down here. So, Instead of putting a real mower straight on this, I, in fact, now I probably can't find any. Um, yeah, a few there. A few there. A few there. I'm gonna actually, uh, gonna go over this now with the, with the John Deere, just to uh, vacuum up all the imperfections, because again, uh, I don't want that sort of stuff going through the mower. That would kill, especially something like this. That would actually murder a cylinder mower reel. So the other benefit of that is it'll pick up all the uh, all the edging mess in one foul swoop.
that was such a good call to uh, run over that. The place looks way better already. Quite a bit of grass off it, but most importantly, there's so many uh, rocks and bark and stuff in there. So really, really good decision. Can't wait to see what it looks like once we get the uh, cylinder mower out on it. We'll empty them out and uh, we'll crack on. I want to move on now to um, just trimming up around the edges of these gazanias. Perfect tool I use for this is that uh, the power rotary scissors from Yard Empire. They do a really good job. I just keep them nice and contained, uh, and by keeping them regularly trimmed, they also stay nice and bushy, and they're more inclined to flower. We're starting to see quite a few buds and flowers stuff starting to come up now. The beauty about these things is they're super drought hardy, super tough, super resistant. Some people don't like them. Um, they can be a little bit invasive if left to go, but in these little confined uh, confined gardens there, uh, they work quite well. So I'm happy to live with them. Those power rotary scissors do a really, really good job at trimming up things like that, as well as obviously doing edges and so forth. Um, yeah, I just tried it one day and found it worked really well. It doesn't spray all the crap everywhere. It just sort of trims them up nicely. Come around, clean it up by hand, five minute job. Normally there's not as much material as that, but as I said, haven't been doing a great deal. I just want to say a huge shout out at this point in time to uh, Hutchison Pierce. Now, they were kind enough to uh, supply me with this tipper trailer. Now, it does actually tilt as well. Uh, it's a poly cart, and it's just going to make life here so much easier for, especially uh, things like top dressing. I can load this up with uh, load this up with sand. It does tilt. I'd have to take the catcher off to show you that, but it does tip as well. It's uh, poly carbonate. It holds. I can't remember what it holds, it holds quite a bit. I'll put it on screen. Uh, but they've just been so, so generous. I mean, obviously they've done so much for Ben and now obviously they've got some faith in me and some belief in me that they would uh, offer me this. This is fantastic, guys. Huge thank you to them.
you're on a bigger block of land like me and you've got a ride on and you don't yet have a little cart, you're missing out. This thing's a little weapon. It's great for hauling firewood down from the back towards the house, picking up general waste and of course, with our upcoming renovations, it's gonna be absolutely ideal. We'll get the last of this cleaned up and we'll start talking about what's happening on the Santa Ana. This is already looking so, so much better. I can't wait to see what this area looks like once we get that triplex out. But we look across and it looks just so good. And it was only really just a clean up with a uh, right on rotary lawnmower. It's done an amazing, amazing job. Um, these are squared up beautifully as well. Um, so they do grow pretty quick. So normally once a week I'll trim those up, but yeah, this whole whole thing's starting to really come alive. So once spring hits, we get the renovation out of the way. Really can't wait. And the color that this tiff tough, like even just down here, it's got this real glowy sort of color about it. It always has, and it's probably one of my favorite things about the tiff tough is its color. And it has such a nice, rich green color. Um, I just find that appealing. But that's a personal subjective thing. Right, let's have a look at this Santa Ana now. Um, it's doing some different things to the Tiff Tuff. Uh, and there's actually quite a bit of ryegrass that's popped back up in this. Um, I'd say what's happened is it's either seed that's been laying in the soil and germinated this winter, or it's been really stubborn grass that sort of uh, hasn't fully died off last summer, even after two applications of herbicide, and has popped back through. So when we look here, the whole thing is scattered with ryegrass and really to the casual observer it could be just a super green winter winter grass or power uh, it's not it is it is winter grass i have actually sprayed this now i've given this a second a uh, uh, another treatment not a second application i'm sorry i've given this an application of a selective herbicide uh, tribute is a great herbicide to use for selectively controlling a lot of weeds including ryegrass out of cooch lawns um, so that's a good one to go to this is actually seeding um, it's well and truly ready for a trim. Again, we'll run the right on over it first, just to get the, uh, the rubbish off the lawn. And then what we'll do at the end is we'll finish off with the triplex. We'll get the whole thing a nice big mow with that and just see if we can lay a couple of stripes. I'm not sure if we will or we won't, but let's find out. Well, that certainly has made a massive, massive difference. And again, pretty happy that I took the, or made the decision to go with the rotary first. A lot of uh, rock sounds and hard objects that got hit up and put into the catcher. So potentially saves to myself a lot of real damage there. Okay, the moment I've been waiting for, and I'm sure that you've been waiting for is, let's grab that triplex. Let's put it out here. Let's see how it comes up. It should come up fairly nicely, I'd imagine. May see some faint stripes, who knows? Um, yes, let's just get on with it.
Well, that was an interesting kind of mow just then. I noticed some distinct differences the way the two varieties of cooch grass here have grown. The tiff tuff on the other side of the driveway was really short, really tight, really compact, and it didn't really exhibit any sort of scalping properties at all. Um, there was a tiny little section there, but nothing in compared to the Santorana. So it, I noticed, was a lot more open, a lot more leggy, and probably less dense. And also, it tended to scalp. A heap more grass came out of the catcher. So it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of interesting to see that um, although this is growing probably quicker than the Tiff Tuff, the Tiff Tuff handled the mow a lot better in my opinion. Let's have a quick look at it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when you look across it here, you see it's just uniform. There's some color variations, but that's more soil related than anything. This is as much scalping just here, this bit through here. This is as scalpy as it got. All right, so good color, good consistency. Yes, it's tight. Yes, it's a bit puffy in places. And yes, it's probably ready for a dethatch. But if you had to pick which one came better on the day, uh, I'm sort of thinking it wasn't. It wasn't this Santorana here. It certainly does look considerably more scalpy, especially through this longer section here. Um, stripes, yeah, well, you know, stripes are stripes here. Um, let's have a look at this other way and see if the sun reflects much stripes on this one. Yeah, so stripes, yeah, not outstanding, not terrible. In fact, it's probably good they're not outstanding because I buggered up this one here. Um, yeah, there's a tiny little bit of scalping just there. But as I said, nothing again compared to uh, the other side. But I know one thing, it looks a damn sight neat and tidier than what it did when I started first thing this morning. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little cleanup episode. As I said, renovations are coming up real soon. Um, mower review coming up really soon. Have a fantastic weekend, and we'll catch you next time on the Aussie Lawn.